God sent versus Space Soldiers. Finally, going to be jumping into this one. It's been a long wait since the Dignitas Heroic game, but we are ready and waiting. And uh, we're going right into the first map. This is going to be Cobblestone. Harry is going to be joining me again. And how excited are you, Harry? Very excited, Hugo Byron, uh, as you can only imagine. Cobble Mirage and Cash could be our best of three. The last best of three tonight, deciding who makes it through to join Heroic at Cologne. And... Uh, as we said, Space Soldier's going to be over on the CT side. God sent kicking things off on the T side. Both of these teams going 2-0 in their games, as have all the games gone today, fun fact. And while to kickstart this round, Schneider and Kogan are making their way down through long. Kalix is boosted on up, and Engine's going to be watching the cross. They have got two players here to try and counteract this. They're just going to cross in front of Kalix. They don't know he's there just yet, because he hasn't opened fire. He's let them walk out, and they think it's all clear. Now he's going <gasps> to no. This is a hell of a lot of shot. Kalix, not like this, going to quickly make up for it. Gets himself two, trying to look for the third, but Disco Doppelin does get the trade. A three on three. The frag's going back and forth, but ultimately, the 2k from Kalix does pay off in the end. Lekra is still sneaking on up. The Zantaris is just on the other side, waiting, holding the angle. Gonna finally move back towards mid. They actually must think this is a shift here. Look at the rotation for Space Soldiers. They moved two players down towards B. Zantaris holding a passive long in mid play, and he's focused on both areas. This is gonna be difficult when they eventually burst. It's all down to timing. Which angle will he be holding when they make their presence as the last player twist finally goes to regroup? And the rest of Godsent. Look poised and ready to just burst out through mid. Here's Twist. Spotted the first one. Zantaris knows now they're coming through long. And we're going to see Major as well rotating to join. And Flash goes through. Nice shot from Zantaris. Twisted dead. And now two more players on this T side trying to cross. Zantaris takes the second one. Doplin trades. But it's a one on two. Yeah, just playing around the back of the site. Does find the first. Gets himself the 3k. The hat trick. Not only that, but he turns it now into a 1v1. Paz rotating around for the B-bomb site. Going to be hot on his heels as the bomb goes down. Paz is rallying a couple of pre-fire shots down range to try and find anything. But Disco Doplin playing around the back of SWAT. Going to be spotted out by Paz. He knows exactly where it is. Oh, and Doplin no. is none the wiser. They're just going to be chipped away at. But both of the missing shots. Finally, Paz connects it and Doplin will fall. Defuse are going to come on in as Space Soldiers pick up the pistol round. Indeed, I'm just going to be fixing the overlay for you guys. It does say the wrong map for some reason. I mine didn't update. So two seconds, and then we'll be good. But what a way to start that off with the wrong overlay. Pooh! It's like nothing ever happened. We're back in. But anyway, yep. Going into the second round now. Bomb plant will be down here for God's sense. So they're going to be able to invest coming into this one. I'm not, uh, well, they're going to be able to, but they shouldn't really be investing in the, in theory. They're actually going to go for uh, a bit of a buy-up. bit interesting. A couple of rifles, UMP, and a few pistols along the side on Godsent. Typically, this would be an eco here, but maybe it'll catch space soldiers off guard, but apparently not. Look at the buy coming in from the CT side and retort. We have four rifles here. They're so well-equipped to deal with any kind of buy-up coming from Godsent. No monkey business, no MP9s, no SMGs other than the UMP. They are so prepared, and Godsent... Well, they try to catch these Turkish players off guard, it is not going to be working out at all in their favour. Rotating everyone from the Swedish side over there towards the B bomb site, ready to push on through Paz and Engine. The two players to try and hold back the tide of Swedes about to come pouring their way. Doppling going to be setting up the pop flash out for his teammates. Twist going to be throwing one as well. Now the push going to be coming on a through. Engine has to do some serious work to buy time. Zantara is emerging from drop, doing the damage as Pass and Engine do fight two between them. Zantara is going to go down. Pass and Engine still very much blind within the sight and buying time. But Pass without a face to be impaled by Disco Doppler. The retake already under effect. And actually, the bomb still hasn't gone down. There's only 28 seconds left. They have to try and make it across to the site. Electro finds some damage with the deeg, but not the frag. And now Major out to try and help. It's going to be chipped away at as well. As Schneider gets the trade, it all falls onto engine back of the site over towards Coop, gets the first, but Schneider peeks wide, gets the third. The hat trick for him. As Godsend go ahead and answer one straight back. Yeah, understandably buying his time was engine there sitting over on the chicken coop playing it safe. Instead of peeking and going down, he was remaining the thorn in the side, but he peeked so passively and took so long to take that fight. The godsend really 
were so you know able to get control of the site and, and push up and get aggressive get those kills and take down the frags onto the space soldiers players so i think engine really should have gone for a bit of an earlier peak could have caught off some of these t-side players but now onto a difficult spot here for the cts pistols and armor and not even any of that on calyx the rest of them are going to be buying up it's godsend with the buy two ump's on them rest of them on ak's I'm well equipped at this as engine situated on the plateau has to fall on back as the spray comes through the smoke and it starts to dissipate he doesn't want to get caught out twist is just on the other side Lining up these smokes and flashes now for the eventual push in towards B. Engine and Paz over here at Platt trying to hold back. Pronax the first man on the scene with a UMP and it just ruins Antares. Engine will fall. Paz trying to refrag best he can. Does the damage onto one, but it's all on Major. As everyone within that B-bomb site does fall. Major 1v4 coming in for the retake. Does have a 5-7, a flashbang and armor to try and make some magic happen with. But he is going to find himself up against it. Schneider just holding the angle. Watching it with the AK. Could fall prey to the 5.7 at close range. At which point Major would have a rifle to try and hold on to. But with so many players watching the angle, it, life expectancy wouldn't be looking too fantastic. Schneider going to go pushing on in. Does tag him down. Now they would know where he is. Pronax on the hunt with the UMP. But it's Lecro to finish Major off. And that will be godsend to find themselves the second round. Base soldiers just going to have to grit their teeth and bear it for this one. As it will be USPs. Maybe a P250 here and there, but for the most part, vanilla pistols across the board. Another opportunity for Godsend to farm some cash, pad those stats. Focus going to be on Twist here with that UMP to get the damage done. And a bit of a mid stat coming off from Space Soldiers. Three players make that four actually, with Major very close on the rotation in the drop down. Putting a lot of focus towards A here for the time being, and it might be the right call to make because Godsend look like they're going to be walking in with no information. Issue is, they're focusing on long, whereas Space Soldiers don't have anyone there, just a passive Calyx holding on. The rest of them sat over towards the actual ramp. It doesn't look like anyone's going to check here. Twist actually finally make his way out. Flash will go through, that will allow him to push up. And someone shoots to give away their position, and they bait him into pushing here into this full on stack. Calyx is at the top, they spot him, but Twist. Still waiting for a potential player to push out. Molly going to come through. He can't, he, Doplin, Doplin takes a kill, sorry. And they're still checking all these angles. They're still making sure that no one's playing close. He'll jump out the corner. There's a second. And the third. Twist doesn't care. Two for him. And Calyx will remain on the site, but completely alone. He'll eventually fall to the hands of Lecro. As God sent, they pick up their third. Yeah, now the buy can come in from Space Soldiers. Calyx going to be buying up the orb. Look like he's the one opting to pick things up in the absence of a Despe. We do normally see them you know, try and don that double-op setup every now and again. Kalex will be the other player to try and pick it up. We know the engine can take it as well. But this time, engine with the rifle. Paz and Antares over here towards B. And engine's going to go aggressive. Finds the first on the Doppler. More players trying to push on through to trade this out. The pop flash is raining on in. How did they think it's clear? Twist with a nice 180. Now has himself an M4 to play around with. But Antares doing damage through the smoke and attack these players down low. The Molotov going to force him. Force his hand so that he can't re-peek on out. Paz trying to dodge the fire and flames as well. But there's still a minute 20 left. Godsend could still change the line, but with how committed the bomb is, it's not looking likely. Two players out on the site, one of them being Pronax with that bomb, is going to fall at the hands of Paz. Twist trying to trade things out, they don't know he's here, going to be able to take one, but Zentares says no, pulls it back into the favour of the Turks, still defending this bomb site with his life if need be, and it will cost him that, as Lecro takes his head clean off, leaving it now in a 1v2. Has the bomb, but Major's on the flank, and just decapitating Lecro. He will be space soldiers to find a second round. Two to three here. Back on the board here for the CT side since the pistol. And they keep two players alive as well. Not the best for economy, but they're going to be down on UMP on a couple other players. Not going to matter too much, at least. Those guns still very, very useful. And got sent on their own by as well. AWP for Doplin. rest of them on the rifles. And an important round coming in. Because if Godsend picked this one up, it's going to be the reset onto Space Soldiers. A crush of their economy. 
But on the flip side, if Space Soldiers pick it up, look at God sense money. They've got not much to fall back on. So a chance for Space Soldiers to actually start leading this CT half. Let's let grow in towards middle. Bomb going to be regrouped as well. Godsend putting some early pressure on, or about to at least, as they regroup towards the long area. They tried this previously up against that e previously up against that eco of space soldiers, but now we have the real guns. Now we have the difficulty. So we have a close pl position player, Paz. Also with the bait coming out from the door. Kalex's position is great because if Godson come through mid, they're going to spot Kalex. He'll go for the shot. He'll fall on back and they'll try and chase him, but Paz will be there to save the day. But now Godson, they're finally going to make their way up long. They take the corner in mid though, that's going to allow Paz to pounce and find the first two players to live towards long. Look at the try to keep this going, but the pop flash comes out, allows Paz to go in that much further. He's going to be tacked down by his teammates though, and then finished off by Pronax. Managed to get a two for one trade in his favor, and Mages instantly rotated towards mid to take up the same positioning that Paz was in prior. Push could be coming on out. Corner has to be checked by Doppler, and he's going to be tagged away. That does find one of his entire, but Mage is here to trade things back. Kalex doing the damage on Electro, leaves this all on Pronax. He is the clutch master for Godsent. Finds that first, now running into the Molotov. It's going to be tagged out, but we'll be able to get the bomb plant at least. Turns into a 1v2. Major over towards long engine coming up through mid. Pronax walking on out oh. to the open. How didn't they spot each other? What was that? Major scoped in. Pronax seemingly blind, and now. The 1v2, he knows that Mage is there, but waiting for Engine to push up first before he pounces. Spots out Engine, he will go down. Now it's all on Major 1v1, and he lands the shot. Pronax gets himself three, but sadly, it's not enough. Uh, what? <laughs> Big question mark on that round. Why did he cross and not shoot Major? The only logical sense is either he saw him too late and then thought the major was actually holding the angle with the orb onto him or he decided not to shoot to stay covered and stay secretive but the benefit of being you know secretive is not above the benefit of being in a 1v1 so must have just been a miscalculation on his part i'm not too sure but i can imagine what his teammates are screaming down the mic to him once they saw <laughs> the player sitting in the middle of the site but yeah, either way i mean i I, th I think i think he saw him i think he just elected to to not kill him and try to play off the the trigger discipline because his crosshair went over yeah i I, major, I can't he just yeah I, I don't know i don't know what it was pronax definitely spotted him um i but we'll have to ask we're gonna have to ask pronax what that was what was his thinking there because i'm genuinely curious i want to know if he didn't see him or if there was you know some some overarching plot some menacing you know, maybe, reason to leave him still alive. The only other reason I could think is maybe he was trying to work out where the last player was before he went for the shot. Because as soon as he goes for the shot, the last player knows where he is, but he has no idea where that other player is coming from. So maybe if he's getting pushed from swap van earlier on by engine, he can kill him, then flick back and kill the Orpa. But I don't know, even even so, I feel like the, the benefits of killing that free player and getting yourself into a 1v1 always outweigh, you know, the... the flip side but i've never won a major so i don't really know what i'm talking about i guess so we'll, we'll leave it to him we'll, we'll find out what what happened there but a, a very very enticing round i gotta say either way three to three pause called out we'll be jumping right back in with the action Yeah, three players for God sent everyone wants to be early on. They go ahead and send two over in mid in the form of lecro and twist and already lecro gonna get decimated on the peak from calyx no trade potential there for Twist, who now finds himself alone. The memories of his fallen comrade, all that remain, and the push coming in towards B, going to be shut down by Paz. They do find two on the entries, but it's instantly traded out. As now Pronax and Twist left in a 2v3, do grab control the drop down, try to get that while it's still fresh. Paz going to eat the nade over towards Platt, but he's still doing damage downrange. Pronax going to feel the full brunt of that too. The chest, and now it's all on twist. One at V3, turns into a one on two. Still has Kalex left to find in the site, who's holding the angle with the AWP, and he lands the shot. Space soldiers to secure themselves a fourth round. And right now, it means Zantares, the, the king of drop down, hasn't actually played into this all too much, been relatively quiet in comparison to the rest of the team. Instead, we've really been looking at Paz and Kalex, the ones to open this up. Now the low investment round from Godtemp. Half Quasi, they've got themselves some money in the banks. 
and that'll be to use next round after the loss bonus starts to build up. They've just got Tech Nines and Armour for now though, and already a bit of aggression from Paz is going to catch up Pronax over on Long. And he'll be joined as well by Zantares. So good support here on the plateau, just waiting for this push from Twist and it will, well, go down in vain. Paz tapping away for his third. Looking for the fourth, but Zantaris will pick it up as he goes down. It's all on Selecro, and they know exactly where he is now, so he's got no options other than to take aim battles. His players from the behind may just going to be sitting there, get spotted, tapping away, allowing Lecro to even get out of the drop down here. Very exposed still. It'll be an easier target for Major to hit, and he will hit it. Takes the kill. And Space Soldiers 5 to 3 now on the CT side. Slow start, but got sent back on their by to get the havoc going once again. Yeah, right now it's been four consecutively for Godsent. For Godsent, for Space Soldiers, sorry, Godsent. They have to try and answer back. Like you said, they will be to buy up once again. The AWP going to be on the back of Doppler. Twist already been tagged down exceedingly low over in mid. Tries to do damage back, but he can't connect anything. Instead, now Kalex rotating over towards Long. Going to take the peak and Pronax. Going to taste the bullet. That nade can find some damage on a twist as Kalex Ooh. picks up a second frag over at Long single-handedly. Driving this round forward engine actually spots out Schneider who catches it mid fall in the blink of an eye. It's all on Doplin and Lecro who might be forced to save already with one minute 15 seconds left on the clock. I mean, you may as well go for this. The rest of your team are going to be eco anyway, and it's more important that you get the loss bonus than you hold on to these guns. The loss bonus is maxed out now. So a save would be a very bad idea in this position if they wanted to keep the money going favorably on for God's sake because they're going to have one eco than a buy. Definitely going to want to either... Unless they can save two rounds in a row, it's it's not worth it. So it's, it's not realistic that, yeah, they need to die eventually or win the round. Lecro going to attempt one or the other. Goes for the kill onto Major. He's got his teammate now backing him up as they push in through middle. And Kalex is going to be there on the balcony. You know exactly where he is. The rotations are flying on in. And we've got some Taurus on the flank as well. This is looking undoable for Godsend. The time is just ticking away too, too low. The engine tagged up, though. That's going to be another free kill. And actually, as I say, this Doppler will kill Kalex. Getting the bomb down on the site as well. Somehow, a 2v5 is a 2v2. And Godsend have made this one look easy. Paz and Centaurus trying to clutch this one out. Both players have the crossfire set up. Like we're going to be picking on our spots. Paz and Tara is able to act from long. Turns it back into a one-on-one -on -one with Doplin on the site with the AWP. 28 HP. Trying to lock down the angle. Zantara is going to go in for the peak. Bomb timer taken away. He's got to be quick here. And he spots oh. Doplin jumping up. But Doplin lands an incredible flank shot to take that one home. As God's going to go ahead and pick themselves up a fourth on the back of an insane play from Doplin. A 2v5, Harry. A 2v5. Those are the rounds you should never be losing. You can only lose those rounds if you make mistakes. Even if the enemy are insane, you have to make some massive mistakes to allow that many 1v1s to go through. And Godsend, they'll take it in their stride, looking to carry on as well. That was meant to be their eco coming up next. But now, it's a full by with Space Soldiers on the cusp of an economical breakdown. No money in return. It does give Space Soldiers an opportunity for getting this reset now, which would be valuable, yes, but definitely not as valuable as an anti-eco in the previous round, which they would have had to you know, deal with now. But either way, we do see God sent once again, focusing up towards middle. Three players this time, bit of pressure on B, but nothing too heavy. His engine sits on top of that plateau, looks for the pick down through long. Smoke going to give him fairly good cover, but he will just spot the top of the players, especially as they jump him back off. A bit of damage, nothing significant. But just into the size of Godsend, and the flank of Zantaras as well is well-timed. He's going to be moving on back. Pronex, I'm expecting it. There's first, there's the second, and there's the bomb dropped. Space Soldiers in a 5v3. But judging on how the previous round went, I won't say it's over just yet. Alex still in position over here along. Here's the players rotating in. The last one's going to be Twist, who rallies that UMP off a little too early. Gives away his position. Zentaris with the hat trick and Kalix with it too. It will be Space Soldiers now. Two rounds ahead of Godsent. The economic reset in a full swing for the Swedes, who will be forced buying down. If they lose this one on the back of a fairly weak buy, there will be Eco in the next, allowing Space Soldiers to take it to an 8 4 scoreline. If Space Soldiers pick this round up. 
in through middle, Kalix has to hit his shot here, gonna hit the first, teammate mollies him out, a major, oh they both get overrun by Twist but he finds a double burn, Pronax and Twist getting mollied out. And now we see the burst up through middle from Godsend, but Space Soldiers have done so much damage. Paz going to be flashing his teammates in. Santara has already found himself on the site, and Doplin scoped up. He can peek out. There's the free kill, and now it's all on Lecro. He's opted to go for the deagle, and I can barely blame him. I've gone with this weapon indeed, but it's a 1v3. They're going to push in through one by one. Paz does take the kill, though. So no worries for Space Soldiers just yet. But a funny double Molotov there. You don't see that every day. Either way, though, not a lot of money on the side of Godsent this time. Just a PT-50 and a Deagle. There will be engine to open things up with the AWP up fast towards Plateau. He's already landed, too. This should just be easy for him. Picking off Antico frags left and right. His teammate almost kills him, but in the process saves his life. Zentaro's dropped Schneider and Pronax. And Twist stuck on long on the back. Going to be coming in from behind. It's just Kallax on the site. I don't know if he'll expect his position. Lots of footsteps being made. He's actually going to go down and check it. And this could be good. Could be a free pick. Kallax turns around though. Spamming. Damage dealt either way. But Twist still is going to be overrun eventually. If he can yeah. take one down with him, that'd be great. And he does find Major at least. Pat's going to walk into oh. the crosshair as well. So Twist takes two. And there's still a minute left to play around with. He might only be on 19 HP. Kallax over in mid though. With the AWP. Should be enough to try and put a stop to him. Engines tagged out on measly 3 HP as well. They have to be careful here. Not to throw any more frags the way of Twist. Still carrying on. Has himself an M4 now to try and utilize. Coming in from behind will be spotted out by Zentaris any second. Now he lands the shot. Twist will fall and Space Soldiers going to be able to pick themselves up an 8th round to their names before the buy comes in from a godsend. Just going to be AKs across the board. Nice bit of utility and compassion what we've seen them have in the last couple of rounds. So hopefully enough for them to make a difference with still a double up set up in play for space. So just engine and Calix, the two players who can don that up, picking it up over on the CT side. And this time a bit of a change of setup here for space. So just two players over towards this B site. Instead, it's three here at A with Calix taking the aggressive peek out through long to kickstart the round. Paz watching mid. The tower is over in drop, could be peaked by Schneider, who just impales him. Pass gonna fall over in middle as well. Suddenly the man if I taken in a big way. Schneider continuing his reign of terror, and it's not gonna be put to an end just yet as Major will fall. Kalix is here alone with the AWP in hand. He has to try and make a stand if they want to stay in this round. Now 2v5 on the other side. These orbs are definitely gonna be too valuable to even attempt to go for this one. I would really recommend a save. Schneider spotted by Engine, but Kalix drops Twist in the meantime in the middle, and Engine just missing out on a free pick on Schneider. That could have made this round suddenly a lot more doable, but at this point, it's still a saving game. Kalix is holding the angle, trying to get a pick if they push towards him so he can fall on back after that and take a new angle. Whereas Engine, in the meantime, clears out the halls of B. To no avail, though. No more picks will be found. Godsend don't want to throw any more players away to this AWP on either side. So they should be getting away with a save here in theory. And no need to play aggressively. They've got the guns. They can bring them into the next round. Combined with the money they have saved, a buy is possible. But only if they save both these guns. Or at least a full buy. They can get a little bit less if they drop one of them. But preferably holding on to both orbs. Godsend to go ahead and pick themselves up a fifth. God soldiers, God soldiers? That is very much not their name. If Godsend go ahead, it's been a long day, Hugo. If Godsend go ahead and it's pick okay. themselves up the next round, we could actually put space soldiers on the receiving end of an economic downfall, in, in which case, an 8 7 scoreline not off the cards just yet, already over in mid. Calyx can be posted up with the AWP once more early on, waiting for the pop flash to come through from Twist. The rest of Twist's team, however, though, Godsend making their way over towards B. The aggression from Pronax already out towards platform, gonna go completely unheeded as Paz peeked on out, will finally spot him. The drop coming in from Godsend as they charge on in towards the B bomb site. Schneider and Doppelin find two between them. The rotates already coming through from Major. That Molotov gonna be worth its weight in gold to hold back this encroaching push, but it's Paz on the site who's doing the work. Finds himself two with the orb. 
And now it's all on Lecro. 1v3, pop flash to hold him back. Bombs dropped over towards platform. Once he's dealt with Paz, he still has to go ahead and get that bomb walking in the waiting gun of Major. He will fall, and that is Space Soldiers to pick themselves up a ninth and immediately go back and reset the economy of Godsent for the last round of the half. An important one at that. Somebody's come through. Pronex last to invest. He will be having enough for an AK if he goes for a singular flashbang, and that is going to be the exact order. As God said, I'd like to see something fast on the A side now. So try and switch something up again. Go for a, a quick burst play. It's unlikely Space Soldiers will expect it. But they establish a slow default once again, looking for this slow methodical pick play. But Kalix, again, he's been the guy to watch out for with that AWP a lot of the time. He's been getting those pickoffs at the start of the round, especially over on Long here on A. Just peeking out fast, getting that first kill, running back. But actually on B, it's Engine this time, taking down Pronex on Plat. And while Twist will push up, potentially into the sights of Kalix, he's actually going to get away with it. Back into a 4-on-4. Four four. Major brings it back, takes down Twist on Long, so he's got something else to work with now as the rotations will fly in for Space Soldiers. They have three players prepared, and this allows Engine to potentially get aggressive on Plateau. With all his team given up on A, or given up on B, sorry, and back up towards A, Engine can push up and get some information. Make sure the Godsend aren't going for a late side B take, but it's going to be made very clear. Two players spotted in the middle. Major finds the first. Now it's all on Doplin. Trying to get anything done here. He's got a 1v4 in his hands, but he can't even land the first. Major takes him down, and Space Soldiers 10 rounds on their CT side. Yeah, now moving into the second half, Space Soldiers are a team that can excel on the T side. They're one that we usually see Put up for very formidable scores with Zentara's going for a lot of drop down, drop down control is one that you know, a lot of players have real trouble dealing with. And there's a bit of a thing where people believe if you can keep Zentara's out of drop, then you can beat Space Soldiers. That's going to be the main point of contest contestation, really, for the Godsent side to try and hold on to. Pistol round, they're going to decide a good bit here. If Godsent pick this up, they should be able to pull it back to an 8-10 scoreline. Space Soldiers, on the other hand, they would propel forward to around about a 13-5. It, that's providing the uh, Antiquos R1 as well. And already three players. Oh, Lecro's going to have his head removed, so never mind. Four players on this B-bomb site does become three as Pronax rotates back over towards A. He's still here on his own. Mage is holding the angle down on long and walking into his waiting arms. It's going to be Twist oh. and Doppelin goes down a Major. Now it's all on Pronax and Schneider. 2v5. Space Soldiers haven't even received a lick of damage yet. And Major continuing this reign of tyranny out in towards the B-bomb site. Like Schneider is going to fall. Finally, some damage done to Space Soldiers, but it's only a mere 57 HP's worth onto Major. Still five players left alive. It's all on Pronax. 1v5. He may be the statistically best clutcher for this player, but I don't think this is a, a doable round by any means. Pushing back into the site. Spots the first. There's Paz. Tags away, and Paz just ruins his day. It's Space Soldiers to pick up 11 rounds there. Pistol round going to be very good, and what a start into this series as well. I wasn't too sure heading into this where it would go, because it's it's such a toss-up whenever it's Space Soldiers. And Godsent for that matter as well. Two very inconsistent teams, especially as of late. But yeah, this is going very well for Space, Space Soldiers. Again, this is their map pick, so moving on to Mirage as the second one picked by Godsent. This still is always potential for comeback. And I mean, there's still a potential for comeback in this map, but it's a very dominant score to start this one off. And moving over to the T side as well, it's looking like they're only going to continue this. Santares opens up onto Schneider for, for... I can't speak. First off. And they will get themselves a 5v4, but only just because Paz is extremely tagged up in the process. You see Space Soldiers being a little bit hesitant. It's really not big. They do want to push in towards this B-bomb site. Now it does look to be like their fate is decided as Kalix looks to try and work drop down. I imagine they have an engine going to be trying to now make their way in towards B. Centaurus opting instead to turn his attention towards long, unfamiliar territory, but it's Pronax to go in first and fall at the hands of engines. Centaurus to open up from long. We usually see him in drop, but instead he's going to prove that he's just as good here. Does drop Lecro. Let's go Doblin doing the damage out on the engine. Kalex to try and refrag this best he can, and he will shut him down. It's Twist 1v3 with a 5-7 on the lurk in from behind. About to try and deal with Kalex in drop down. Bomb down. They're just going to start clearing up the close angles, make sure he's not in any spots like Chicken Coop. No ninjas coming in today. 
and twist looking for exits at the most the issue is if you even kill someone in drop down he has to fall on down there to get the gun leaving him very exposed to the rest of space soldiers and they should be saving together here if they clear a drop down that's one thing but at the end of the round they should all be moving to a very similar spot they shouldn't be splitting up because that can be so so dangerous to holding onto these guns because that's zero trade potential if they all separate. But they all make their way inside a connector. Twist's going to drop. And I think they heard that. Yep, they've all turned around. They know he's there. And his dink will come through. But that is going to be it. Calyx will take the kill. Sorry, Zantara taking the kill. Calyx taking the dink. And that will be Space Soldiers to pick up the round. Once again, 12-5. to 5, The full eco coming in for Godsend. And the real buy, the real chance to get back into this map, if there is any, will be next round. Yeah, I mean, this one, you're looking at Space Soldiers being able to pick themselves up a 13th. Now, it is vital that God sent go and win out that first rifle round. There's normally a lot of pressure riding on it, on it anyway, but if they lose it, their economy will be in ruins. While Space Soldiers will be sitting pretty on 14 rounds if they lose that rifle. No money left to invest. It looks like Space Soldiers could then be their path paved to, to victory, or at least to map point. Don't plenty of time left for things to change as... In this round, it's just a little bit of a stack up here towards this A-bomb site. Just USPs across the board. It's just going to be a shooting gallery here for Space Soldiers that make their way out. Major tapping on heads, doing what Major does. He's going to keep on going. Still more left to click on, and he does get himself three. A point-and-click adventure game over on ramp, whereby Major decimates the forces of Godsend. Pass to finish things off with his trusty UMP, and that is going to be... A 13th for Space Soldiers. Now, this is the round I was speaking about. So crucial that God's saying go ahead and pick this one up to finally put a stop to the uh, rampant machine that is Space Soldiers. It's all on this one. So much pressure on God's end. It's crazy to see them fall at the first hurdle like this, but they've had their inconsistent results as of late. Here's the Mountain Dew Finals as an example. Well, let's hope they don't have the same repeat here as we see a charge into B, a pace of five, switched up five times. This go Doppler going to get a couple of defense kills, and actually it works out very well for Space uh, for Godsend. Space Soldiers left in a two on five, but damage has been done. There's only two players for this side, side, but Calix, he's not going to back lines. There's two, there's three, that's massive, and Calix has made it work. Space Soldiers have single-handedly pulled it back from a 2v4 to a 2v1, and Calix makes all the difference. It's all on to twist. His crosshair shaking as he moves back in. He has to win this round, or Space Soldiers are only meters away from closing out this first map. And Twist is going to fall. That Space Soldiers to pick themselves up a 14th now on the back of a monster flank from Kalix. Amazing trigger discipline. Spots out all three players and then just mercilessly executes them. And an expert display of marksmanship over towards that B-bomb site. The buy is coming in from both sides as God sent. They force by down what they can. It's two Mag 7s as they double down on the unconventional shotgun to try and make some magic happen here in towards this B-bomb site. And well, Pronax has the Mag 7 over at long. No one's going to be coming his way anytime soon. Engine will instead are watching for some aggression in through mid. And if Pronax does opt to give it to him, it could be a man advice taken. Very, very quickly, the rest of Space Soldiers looking to push in over towards B. Lecro with the Mag 7 has to step up on platform. The rest of his team all in drop. Going to be trying to push through that Molotov. They get damage done. And Disco Doppelin just going to behead Calix and Zantares to turn this into a three on three. Such a massive play. But he's going to need a whole lot more to defend this walking back into B. Oh, he does it. Tags down Major. There's still a couple more close players. And Paz will be the first to execute him. Moving back into the site is Twist. But Engine's there to shut him down. And now it's all onto the shotgun of Pronax. They know the potential flank. But he's just moving in from the connector. A very late rotation, I've got to say. But he'll finally come in through that drop down. This gun is not the best for range. And he's about to find that out in just a second as he moves on through one close-ish player. But even so, now they know where he is. They can just spot him from the range. As soon as they know he has a Mag 7, yeah, he's, he realised he can't do this. He's got to run. But he's actually going to go back in through the door. I don't know about this one. He can get a gun from one of these bodies, but even so, there's just not enough time. He doesn't have a kit, and they're in a 2v1. He realises it too little too late. And Space Soldiers, they pick up a 15th round, one away from closing out their map pick. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, we, we need to see Pronax step up a bit. I mean, we're used to seeing him in this lineup, I would say, do a hell of a lot more. When we think back to, you know, the uh, 
days back on Fnatic. You know, he was someone who used to reside down at the bottom, but within Gods, he's usually someone who does contribute quite a fair bit, especially in terms of the, uh, you know, high impact frags towards the end around when he has to clutch things out. But currently he's five to 17 right down at the bottom. Lecro only being two frags above him, seven to 17. Both these players in need of stepping up of Godsent want to see this through and get onto a third map of Space Soldiers. One ran away from running out. The weak buy for Godsent not going to prove to be too great and already Schneider will fall in and drop. They have to try and find an equalizer here and Lecro over on platform could be the man to make that happen. Make that dream a reality. As Major waits on the other side of the smoke, it is going to start to dissipate. Three players still within this B-bomb site. No flash to enable Major to take this peek. Instead, just watching the angle. The Molotov going to force Lecro out into the open, and he will go down as Paz going to be the one to pick that frag up. Only two players left, and one of them on the B site is going to be Doplin on the back of Chicken Coop. He hits one, but the Molotov will force him in the open, and Engine takes him down. It's all onto Twist. A 1v4 is going to be needed. It seems that Space Soldier's only seconds away from picking up this first map in the best of three series. He gets the first. The bombs drop, but it doesn't matter. Zantaras is there, and Godsent will do it. A 16 rounds is going to be found here from this Turkish team. And Space Soldiers, they are going to take away the first map of this best of three series. What a weird scoreline as well. Extremely dominant, but again, it's not over. God sent have a chance for retribution. We will be moving forward onto the second map of this series very shortly. And of course, that will be God sent's pick on Mirage. But until then, we'll be going for a short break. We'll be back very soon.